Hi folks, we gave Scrooge and Cratchit the weekend off, so they were nice enough to let us use their office while we talk to you today about this edition of PC's Take, where we'll be watching and reviewing the movie Lincoln. Friends, this movie is going to be looked at, I think, to be one of the top contenders for Best Picture and Best Actor. And here, let me tell you why and what not to expect and what to expect when you see the movie. What not to expect is a movie about Lincoln's entire life from his birth until death. Also, sorry friends, there are no vampires in this movie. This movie focuses on the year 1865 and in the final months of Lincoln's life as well as Lincoln trying to get that 13th Amendment uh, passed, which is to abolish slavery. One thing you'll also see in this movie is the fact that Daniel Day-Lewis put a $5 bill up next to him. He captures Lincoln in his mannerisms, in his look, and his in appearance as well. Uh, supporting cast of Sally Field and Tommy Lee Jones bring a lot of tragedy, but also a lot of humor, as well as you're going to see if you are on the side of history, you'll like the movie. If you're on the side of politics, you'll like the movie. If you're a teenager and bored by those first two things I mentioned, you may not like the movie. But again, as a whole, it, it captures those last few years, actually the year of Lincoln's life very eloquently. From a spiritual standpoint, it's very simple, and I guess I could even say one of the darkest moments in our nation's history is the tolerance of slavery. But even more so, and going back to biblical times as well, when slavery was allowed, we think about the slavery that you and I are facing when it comes to our sin. In John chapter 8, John tells us that all of us are slaves to sin. We can't go a day, a minute without sinning, and thus we're chained to that idea of sin and slavery. But what's awesome is in John chapter 8, he also tells us that if the Son sets you free, you are free indeed. And for those of us watching and know and believe that Jesus is our Savior, that when he said, it is finished on the cross, we know with all of our heart that our sins have been forgiven and that our sins no longer hold us down, but that we are now no longer called a slave, but a child of God. As I said before, with the performances in this movie, the, the writing, uh, the directing, again, by Steven Spielberg, the musical score by John Williams, who else if he's with Spielberg. The whole idea behind this movie, again, just for a moment you, when you watch it, it's a two and a half hour movie. You, you, you tend to forget that Daniel Day-Lewis is an actor and you really buy into the fact that that is Lincoln on the screen. Uh, for that moment and for that reason alone, I gave the movie four popcorns. I would have given it five, but parents need to be aware there is some nudity in the movie. There is some coarse language. And of course, showing the brutality of the Civil War uh, and the death that uh, entold from that, uh, it is a little gruesome and it might not be fit for, for younger kids. So with that being said, four out of five popcorns. Also, if you happen to be in the theaters recently, another good movie to check out is the 50th anniversary movie of James Bond, Skyfall. And again, if you're a big diehard James Bond fan, you'll see all the little tips of hats to the past 50 years in movies ranging back from the Sean Connery era up into the present. But do be aware of the James Bond franchise that you're going to have a lot of probably a uh, coarse language there, a lot of violence, and maybe not the best intentions with the opposite sex. But at the same time, again, it is a good popcorn flick and a good movie to watch. My friends, we are going to be signing off here because I think I'm hearing that uh, Mr. Scrooge and Mr. Cratchit are going to be coming back, and they might even be coming to a theater or to a screen near you when Mr. Scrooge is here to see you.